hey ho. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I meant to say hey yo, but it was like hey, I was gonna say hey hey or hey yo. Wait, three, three, two, one. This gem comes from the tiniest miner on earth. So let's think about ants. What are ants that we can, that help with gemstones? Um, the tiniest miner would be something that mines, so something that mines gemstones. So what ant mines a gemstone? Or what gemstones are mined by ants? That's the better question. Um, and that is a type of garnet. It's called ant hill, ant hill garnet found in Arizona. Oh my gosh, guys, wow. This is not as luxurious as I was thinking. Okay, so we're gonna talk about gemstones today, per usual on this channel. We're gonna talk about ants. We're gonna talk about gemstone, a gemstone that is mined by ants, and that is ant hill garnet. What is significant about this is that it is a type of garnet, it's pyrope garnet, P-Y-R-O-P-E. And there's pyrope garnet found in a lot of different areas. But what is significant about this is that this pyrope garnet um, is found in ant hills. And when the ants are excavating, they are bringing up like they're, they're tunneling and they're making these ant hills. In the process of doing that, you know, they're bringing up gravel and dirt and that gravel and dirt actually has garnet in it. You're not gonna see a big piece of garnet, you're gonna see like little pebbles, but it's an indicator, these ant hills, of where there could be larger specimens of garnet. So you can actually see that this bag, it has just little rocks in it, but if you look a little closer, you'll see some really beautiful um, transparent pieces of garnet. Um, and this is pyrope garnet. So the significance of anthill garnet is it's actually one of the reddest garnets. And that's because of its chromium content. It has about a 3% chromium content, which is double that of the next reddest stone, about 1.5. So the significance of this is you're gonna get a gemstone that's a true red, not a garnet that is kind of like a, a brownish red or orangish red. You're gonna get a true beautiful bright red. And red is actually one of my favorite colors. So this is gonna be a fun episode. Uh, another fun thing about garnet it is that it's the birthstone for January, which just happens to be my birth month. So let's dive in. Let's look at more boxes. Three, two, one. And here is actually rough garnet. It is beautiful. It is a beautiful red. You can see through it. Um, one cool thing about garnet is that it's one of the few stones that isn't treated at all. And there's nothing wrong with treatments. Garnet wakes up comes out of the ground looking pretty good. And we have the example of this right here. No treatments, no heat, no irradiation, no oiling. Anhill garnet is actually found in the Four Corners area of Arizona. Um, and it's significant because it's actually found in the anthills. And there are some anthills, and I've only, I've heard this from friends, uh, that are so, that have so much garnet in them that they look red. And wouldn't that be so cool if you're just looking out into the sunset and you see these beautiful red mounds, they're actually anthills. Um, so what's significant about that is the ants, they're not looking for the garnets. Ants don't have a relationship with garnets. They're not trying to buy them or anything. They are basically just, they're pulling them up from the ground and they are just dropping them. And then that is used to, for other people who are mining those to go back and look in that area. So it's an indicator. And we've talked about indicator materials before. Garnet is an indicator uh, material for diamond. So a lot of times when you're looking at diamonds, you're gonna find garnet. You can actually find garnet inclusions in a diamond. Um, so ant hills are indicators that there could be more garnet there. All right, we've got another box. Apparently this is not rough and I am super excited because it is a beautiful one carat garnet. And we talked about the chromium content in for this type of garnet and how it's so high. And it gives you that really tr a true red. So look right there, you see a true red. Um, it's beautiful, it's bright, it's clean, it's untreated. Um, again, that's because of the chromium content. So let's talk about chromium for a second. Chromium is also the reason we have emeralds. Some emeralds are colored by chromium. Other emeralds can actually be colored by vanadium. Depends on the chemical composition, whether chromium can give you red or green or another color. Cool thing about garnet, it's about seven, seven and a half on the most scale. So this is great in a piece of jewelry. This is definitely something you should add to your collection. Do you want it in a ring? Do you want it in a pair of earrings? It is a an interesting 
interesting buy, whether you want Garnet, because Garnet comes in a lot of different colors and it's untreated, or maybe you just think the story of Anne Hill Garnet is so cool, just like I do. And in that case, you can always check out JTV. Oh, another cool thing I learned about Ant Hill Garnet is that there's actually two types of ants that are making these ant hills that have the garnet, and that's red ants and black ants. For a long time, the people in the region where it's found, the Navajo Indians, used this not in jewelry. It was actually used by shamans and their shakers because of the ability for the stone to kind of weather being um, shaken a lot. And I just, I think that's so cool. We talk about gemstones and oftentimes when I'm talking to you all, I'm only saying how much I love it in jewelry or what I would like to own or a mineral specimen. But a lot of these stones have a more um, prolific history and we can learn a lot about the cultures that surround these areas where gemstones are mined and found and faceted and, and, and manufactured. Three, two. That's a big stone. All right, so this stone right here is 9.05 carats. It's actually in the President's Collection at JTV. The only other Ant Hill Garnet I know larger than this one is about 13 carats. You know, this stone right here is pretty spectacular. It is bright, it is beautiful, it is large. Okay, so we're gonna take a quick look at this. You can see how beautiful and bright that is. And look with the LED light. Um, LED lights are definitely great to have if you're in the gem and jewelry business. All right, guys, we've had a lot of really beautiful stones on the channel, but sometimes when we're doing a closer look, I don't wanna just look at the most beautiful thing. I wanna look at the most interesting thing. So I want you to take a closer look at this bag here and how looking, it just looks like a bag of dirt and gravel. But when you look a little bit closer, you actually see really small um, pieces of garnet. A lot of times when we do a closer look, it's the most beautiful thing. But today I think this is the most interesting thing. Um, and that's because you can see the garnet actually in the bag, those beautiful red pieces. We've talked about where chromium is also found, whether it's um, emerald or ruby or anthill garnet. Um, but ultimately, I hope you all just developed a um, bigger appreciation for garnet. For all my fellow January babies, this is a stone you should definitely add to your collection. And don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, leave me a comment and let me know what you liked about this episode. Comment below and let me know what you thought of this episode and I hope to see you next week. Thanks y'all.